Okay, let us take the next one that is 53. Let f x equals sin of pi by 6 times sin of pi by 2 times sin x for all x from the set of real numbers and g x equals pi by 2 times sin x for all x from the set of real numbers f of g, g of f they are talking about in this question, which of the following statements is or are correct. Four options are given, options are talking about range of f, range of f of g, limit x approaching to 0 f x by g x and again g of f x function. So, starting with the first term that is range of f, right, let us start it. f x is given to me sin pi by 6 times sin pi by 2 times sin x. Starting from this term sin x, the range is minus 1 to 1 means this term is lying between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. This term is between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, obviously, sin of this function is again between minus 1 and 1. So, we can see it sin x into pi by 2, it is between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, sin of this angle is minus 1 to 1 multiplied with pi by 6, it is minus pi by 6 to pi by 6. So, clearly f is between minus half to half, hence the option 1 is correct. Let us go for b option range of f of g. Function g x is pi by 2 times sin x when I say sin x is between minus 1 and 1. So, range of g x is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, right. So, when I put it here minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, it is same as we did earlier for f. So, we can say that range of f of g is also same minus half to half. Let us go for option 3 that is limit x approaching to 0 f x by g x. Let us try this one limit x approaching to 0 f x means sin pi by 6 times sin of pi by 2 sin x divided by g x means simply pi by 2 sin x. We observe it is 0 by 0. So, we can plan sin theta by theta form. So, multiply and divide by pi by 6 sin pi by 2 sin x pi by 6 sin pi by 2 sin x. Now, pi by 2 sin x is already there in denominator because of term g x correct. So, we can see that on x approaching to 0 this goes to 1 this term goes to 1. So, the result is simply pi by 6. So, we can see that option number c is also correct. Move to the fourth option that is d. There is an x in the set of real numbers such that g of f x is 1. Let us talk about g of f x. When we look at this f x, we already know that the range is minus half to half, right. When I put here f x in place of x means I am saying this x is replaced with f x. So, this value is between minus half and half, right. Since f x is between minus half and half, so g of f x is between g of minus half to g of half because we are dealing with the sine function which is simply increasing in this given interval. So, we can put it like this. So, we can see that g of f x is something which is lying between pi by 2 times sin of minus half to pi by 2 times sin of half, right. Now, half in radians that is approximately we can say sin of half that is sin of 0.5, it is less than 0.5. If I consider it half, then I will see it is minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. Actually, it is not, but open interval I can say minus pi by 4 to pi by 4. When I move from minus pi by 4 to pi by 4, 1 is not there, 1 comes after pi by 4. So, option D is not correct. 
So this is clear. Let's go for the next question. That is question number 54. Okay, let's go for question number 54. Let triangle PQR be a triangle. Let A vector equals QR vector, B vector equals RP vector and C vector equals PQ vector. So, clearly we can see that A vector, B vector, C vector are along the sides in order means A plus B plus C in terms of vector it is 0. If mod A equals 12, mod of B vector equals 4 root 3 and B vector dot C vector equals 24, then which of the following is are true? four options are given which we have to conclude about. So, let us start it. Since A vector plus B vector plus C vector equals 0, we have the information about B dot C means we can keep B and C on one side like this and take modulus and take square or simply say take dot product. This gives me mod b square mod c square plus twice of b dot c is mod of minus a square or simply mod of a square. Mod b is known to me, mod c we have to find, mod a we know it. Substituting we get 48 plus mod c square plus b dot c is 24. So, it is again 48 is equal to 144. So, from here we have 144 minus 96 that is again 48 means mod c is 4 root 3. Mod c square is 48 or mod c is 4 root 3. We can see that the triangle is isosceles triangle. Mod c square is 48. Now, looking at the option 1 mod c square upon 2 minus mod a is equal to 12. Mod c square is 48, 48 upon 2 that is 24 minus mod a is 12. So, this is correct. If I look at option b, it is 24 plus 12 which is not 30, it is 36. Option c, a cross b plus c cross a modulus of it. So, let us go for it a cross b plus c cross a modulus can be written as a cross b minus c because I can write c cross a as minus of a cross c and then we can write it a cross b minus c. A vector we can find from the given equation as minus of b plus c. So, it can be written as mod of minus of b cross a b plus c cross b minus c. Modulus is there, negative can be eliminated simply mod. So, when we multiply this one, we get b cross b that is 0 minus of b cross c plus of c cross b minus of c cross c. So, we can say twice of b cross c is something we require in this question b cross c is required. We know b dot c. Okay. Since mod of b cross c square plus b dot c square, we can see that it is simply mod b square mod c square sin square theta mod b square mod c square cos square theta. So, it is mod b square mod c square. Therefore, modulus of b cross c is square root of mod b square mod c square that is 48 square minus 24 square which is 24 root 3. So, twice of b cross c modulus is 48 root 3. So, we observe here that option c is also correct little bit calculative. We can also go for this option C using properties of triangles. Since the triangle is isosceles, we can find angle cos A say for example, when we are talking about PQR, we can say angle P, angle P we can find out and can apply there as well or th this method. Now, option D, A dot B is required. So, we can go as 
a plus b is minus c mod a square mod b square plus twice of a dot b is equal to mod c square right we have the value of everything substituting we get 144 plus 48 plus twice of a dot b is equal to 48 48 we can cancel out to get the result a dot b equals minus 72 so option d is also correct so in this manner we can solve this question of vectors so this is clear let's go for the next one